Oh hey, welcome to our humble abode. As you see, uh, it's stylized in the, uh, the pattern of 1700s Victorian manners. Uh, here you have our private watering well. Uh, we draw from it each morning. Ah, see here we have a, this, uh, this bottle is uh, from the California selection, uh, 1829. Uh, aged has a nice robust taste. Ah, <laughs> here you see our uh, nice uh, vintage wood fire oven. You see here, uh, it's where you put in the coals to, to warm it up. And uh, oh look, fresh batch of cookies, fresh from the oven, made for us today. Look at this delicious. Oh, not done yet. Let's let's put the cookies back in. Now we just uh, load the coals and uh, and uh, there we're gonna we're gonna have some cookies. Look at those open flames. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? You here to see our, uh, this one's our pad? Our river pad? Come on. Let me show you around a little bit. Come on, guys. Here you'll see our uh, 1866 lamp. It was given to us by uh, General uh, Bryson Custerman. Here you'll see our, uh, our vintage 242 chair. It's from uh, AD 242. That's where we get that from. Here's our uh, Mensa. That's what the Latin kings called it. Here you'll see our, uh, this is actually a painting that all of us drew together last night. We, uh, we have artistic abilities that we uncovered last night and we made this together. We call it Corsage of Doom. So if you want to check it out real quick. Yeah, well, what's this? This is a uh, 1874 harp. This was, this was played by uh, Pocahontas. Here, let me show you outside real quick. Oh, we gotta get this old lock out. So we can do it. <laughs> the door almost came off. Yeah, watch out. Here, I see a man down there on his bike. Oh, there he is. That's, uh, that's Mr. Term. Couple of palm trees. <laughs> Here's the uh, the parking lot. There's a uh, there's our covered wagon down there, the green one. This is okay. really nice. Come on back. You got a minute? I do. I I didn't see you there. Um, you caught me <coughs> writing some um, literature. This is the um, love seat I was sitting on. They call it love seat because in uh, Victorian England, uh, the queen would sit there in love. And uh, and what we did was we had our designers put a uh, oil lamp underneath, if you can see mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. and the lampshade is made out of yeah. moth wings. Viewers will like that. But over here, <coughs> we'll take a stroll into a, more of a new age <laughs> city, and uh, we have our plasma uh, flat screen here, and if you open the cabinets, it'll unveil our uh, stereo uh, Blu-ray player. Um, surround sound speaker equalizer here, and if you look around the room, Got some speakers, you know, over there and and there. It was only five grand a night to stay here, so we got a good deal. We really did, just to be honest. And this is the bathroom. Veneered water dispenser. Um, you'll find that uh, the polished varnish on it is uh, exceptionally relevant in terms of uh, 1600s uh, British poetry. Here is the... Uh, the uh, face gel. You just uh, take off the cap for moisturization. Yeah, and just and just rub it on your face. And it's a uh, King Edward used to use that, uh, but not for his face. Oh wow! This shirt was designed by Cleopatra herself. Uh, she used to wear it uh, for uh, yeah. I heard about that for uh, musical purposes. Pearl uh, finish for the cabinets. Here, let me pearl, show them the uh, pearl toilets. Here's our uh, the sacred toilet that uh, the pharaohs used to use. Uh, I heard that a couple of German kids actually built this um, back in the day. So I know who will look inside. You heard that? It's like a sensation. Yeah, it's, it really is. And uh, we saved the best for last. So tell them about it. Here's our uh, spa. It's our spa shower. Uh, Old Spice, we have Old Spices in here. It's full of Old Spices. Like, From the East Indies. Like oregano and thyme. And this is Cilantro. equivalent to the uh, frankincense yep. and myrrh that was brought to uh, baby Jesus by the wise It's people. equivalent, but not the same, but it's better. Here's the uh, the spout. This is actually takes water when it's... The only time you can take a shower here is if 
when it's raining from the sky, it catches it up top and it puts it through here. It so can, we have actual rainwater that we shower with. It converts the raindrops into pure Chardonnay. <laughs> <laughs> That's true.